What if I told you there was an item you can wear with a suit that will show your individuality and personality without looking tacky? Graphic tees. No. I mean this. Lapel pins. But first, before we get anywhere else, we have to ask ourselves two questions. What is a lapel and what is a pin? If you don't know what the latter is, forget it. A lapel is this piece of fabric that you will find on suit jackets and other types of jackets as well. So a lapel pin equals a pin for a lapel. <laughs> Oh, and guys and gals, I need you to answer a question for me at the end of this video, so don't skip. So I'll make sure to watch it till the end. And no guys, it's not a joke, it's an actual serious question I'd love for you guys to answer for me. Okay, so now that we have made a successful description of these lapel pins, what do they look like? Well, I like to divide lapel pins into two categories. Enamel pins, or lapel pins, whatever, and boutonnieres. Boutonnieres. We'll talk about the boutonnieres in another video. Because today, we're just going to focus on lapel pins. They are generally and traditionally enamel, which is an ancient technique that dates back over 3,000 years ago in ancient Egypt, developed more by the Greeks and spread throughout the world. The Greeks had a lot of fun in these in medieval days. It's during my Byzantine studies, I always come across these beautiful enamel and cloisonné jewelry. Yeah, okay, nobody cares. Nerd! So what are they for? I don't know, go ask people. No. People wear them for a ton of different reasons. It could be a pin for the business you work at. Certain organizations. Ooh. For certain achievements. Flags of your country or homeland. Political parties. <laughs> but they can even be pop culture references too. A huge hobby now is Disney pin trading. Not my personal thing, but I know some gals who dig this. Now, I have a few lapel pins myself, and I've been really getting into them recently because it's a great way to show your individuality and your hobbies or what have you while dressing nice, which is pretty neat. So I got a few of them here, and I'll show you when to wear them and how to wear them because not all these are meant for suits, you know. Now, normally you'd stick it right here, right near your lapel buttonhole. But if you don't have one, it's just as general area. Let's start with this one right here. Now, this one I got from my buddy Luke at Emma Garner when I used to have my segment on his channel and you can see a few videos and it made sense. It's a Swiss cheese plant, which I got up there. And it goes with the shirt, so that's why I'm wearing it. See, nice and subtle way to show my my support and my hobby. I mean, see, it just looks nice anyway. It's not too big. I really like this one. It's probably one of my favorites. Now, this one is not a lapel pin, but it's a pin. And actually, this is from Lord of the Rings. It's the elven brooch that they wear. I'm a huge Tolkien nut, okay? Nerd! I originally got this for a costume when I was younger. Nerd! Oh, it's nice. It's a little big. I'd prefer to have one probably a little smaller for a lapel. I mean, this does capture a lot of attention, and it's nice. It doesn't say the Lord of the Rings on it. It's just a pretty, like, enamel leaf. And my buddy Shane got me this one. This is nice. It's a coffee raven. I like this one. I would totally wear this to a coffee shop in Port Huron called the Raven. This is perfect. See, if there was a vent at the Raven, I'd wear this, man. Because, yeah, it's a coffee shop with a raven or crow on it. Whatever. No one cares. Thanks, buddy. You can even get these as a family crest. This isn't mine, this is my friend's. This is one of the symbols for the Cahill family. Great. Oh, this is cool. This is like a butterfly knife, man. See? Just just cool little stuff. Have fun with them. Kind of cool, man. It's a knife. <laughs> Sometimes, man, you gotta be patriotic, man. Yeah. This is a classic one. You'll always see the president wearing one of these. Go for the 4th of July or something. Now, this one's cool. It might be a little too big for a lapel, though. But let's see. Not bad, actually. Yeah. I mean, why not? Sure. It's kind of cool, actually. I like that. See, here's another practical one. This isn't mine, but my buddy and I, we graduated from the same university, Madonna. I was recently invited to a Madonna alumni event, and this is exactly what I'd wear. Made in Canada. Thanks to my homies across the river, eh? Now these two might be a little too big for a suit jacket, especially this one. It's the Grim Reaper. Yeah, it looks like at the Bahamas. It's cool. I put this probably on a like a punk jacket or a denim jacket or something like this. Now this one, Fibonacci. I could probably put this on a suit. Let's see. Let's see. It might be too big. Might not be. Yeah, you might think it's a little big, but boutonniere flowers, which are meant for your suit jackets, they're bolder and bigger. So. I think this should be fine. Heck yeah, the Red Wings, my dude. One of the coolest looking sports logos. Probably the best, even though they suck right now. You suck! Check that out, man. I like this one. Woo, mama. More Michigan stuff, because like I said, you don't just have to wear your country flag. You can wear your state flag. 
I love this one for obvious reasons. I'm more patriotic sometimes for my state than my country. A beautiful flag, man. It's got the elk and the moose on it. No, we don't have as much of those as we do deer. Like, freaking everywhere. <gasps> Since my homie's in Georgia, he's got a Georgia pin. But to be honest, I like the Michigan pin better. Yeah. I might be biased, but I mean, it just looks cooler. Nothing against Georgia. Oh yeah, and for my overseas audience and non-American audience, yeah, Michigan is my state in the United States. You probably knew that already because I talk about it too much. Boring. These are pretty cool. Which one's your favorite, guys? I don't know, it might be the Red Wings one for me. Nice. Like I said, the great thing about these is that they're not just for suits. You can put these on your hats, your denim jackets, your punk leather jackets, your purse for you gals out there. But when you're dressed in a blazer or a suit jacket, when should you wear them? Well, to be honest, you can wear them almost any time. I just say it depends more on the pin at the moment. If I was able to go to that alumni event in my old college, I'd wear this pin. This would be a better option than wearing the Triforce from The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> it's good to make sense for the occasion. Like I said, when I went to Memphis last year, I wore the Michigan flag one. And when people asked me, what flag is that? I told them Michigan, my home state. So if there is a certain occasion and you have a pin to match for it, then of course wear it. The pop culture ones though, you can wear most of the time really, I think. Just make sure it fits with the atmosphere. I kid you not, I'm one of the biggest token nerds that you'll ever hear talk. I ran a club back in my early days of college. <laughs> but I wouldn't wear this South Park looking Gandalf with my jacket. Maybe this, or this, or maybe one of these beautiful devices from the Silmarillion if anyone ever made those. They'd be beautiful, and even if you're not into the Legendarium at all, I know people would wear these. And that's what's great about them. You can still have fun while dressing up. But like there's even a Byzantine eagle, a replica coin of Constantine the Great. I totally wear that. The possibilities are endless, really. I'll be honest though, most of these aren't even mine, even this one, unfortunately. These are my buddies and he let me borrow them for this video. And he was actually the person that found the TiVo's character in that video from weeks ago. I didn't think anyone would find it and he did like right away. I was like, oh jeez. So I'll have a link in the description below so you guys can go check out his YouTube channel. Because remember, the first person to find in a comment where the TiVo's character is in this video will get a shout out in the next one. But wait, you may recall what I said in the beginning of this video. I need you to answer questions for me at the end of this video. So don't skip. You didn't skip. Slap like, like now. now. So here is my question to you guys. What kind of lapel pins would you like to see? Any particular design or symbol from something you love? I'm asking because I may or may not be opening a shop. <gasps> All right, I am excited for that. <laughs> Mama! He's very good for being so monotone. He's so quick paced and so funny. I like him. Smash like now if you like Davey. He's Italian and he slapped that bass. To slap like, slap like, smash like, slap like. <laughs>